Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video, but before you leave, let me ask you a question. Do you guys have any tips for anyone that's getting into game collecting? There's a video that I'm going to be doing soon talking about game collecting tips, and I would like to get some tips from you guys as well. It could be anything from finding great prices, to maybe checking if a game works, to just interacting with people in general in order to find good deals. Anyways, let me know down below what you think, and I'll include them in the upcoming video. So anyways, let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, my name's Harry Atomic, and it's the end of the the month. Now all month people have been asking me for pickups and I've purposefully been leaving it until the end just to make sure to give you guys a good chunky video with loads of pickups on it. Now admittedly this month has been a lighter month for me because I've kind of been redoing my setup a bit so I pumped some money into that as well as I got little baby Alucard who I showed in a previous video and he's been taking up a lot of my time. But I was still able to pick up some games this month so let's dive into this month's game pickups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these in basically the order that I got them from the time that you guys asked me at the start of the month to do a pickups video I've been keeping a, a sheet of pretty much every game that I've bought the whole month so this is all the games in order so if it seems about all out of whack it's literally just in the order that I got them anyways on to the first game so the first game that I picked up this month was Oba Pentaq 2 or as I checked earlier in France 2 is 2 so this should be Oba Pentaq 2 uh, this is a France exclusive connect game I mentioned it in the rarest games I own video and I can't I'm still super proud of it. So for anyone that doesn't watch that video, I'll give a short recap. I've been looking for this game for so long. I'm trying to get a complete PAL set of games and unfortunately for me, there are some games that were only released in Europe, like certain European countries. And because of that, they're a bit harder to find and even then, they're even harder to get imported. So this is a France exclusive game and it i will probably never play it. It's sealed. I managed to get a sealed copy of it, which I'm super happy at. Going after this game taught me a lot about rare games. A rare game for me used to just be something that was like at the top tier, stuff you never heard of very often, but I've kind of changed my mind a bit. Uh, for me, there's a difference between expensive games and rare games. If a game is expensive, but you can search online and find it straight away, then I don't think it's rare. I just think it's expensive. And the goal is to try and get it at a price you're happy with. However, games like Obu Pentaq are tough to find when you do an eBay search. It's hard to get your hands on it. Like it rarely pops up. If you do a Google search on it, there's hardly any information bar a few videos from when it was released. So I would call this a rare game because it's a bit annoying to find. Uh, it wasn't too expensive, but yeah, yeah, again, I know I'm harping on about it, but I'm super happy to have this. Anyways, let's move on to the next game. So one thing that I enjoy doing every now and then when I'm running around the town is just pop my head into CEX and see if there's anything that tickles me fancy or something that maybe you guys have mentioned or things that I could pick up for a future video. I'm constantly buying things that I could show you guys or to do a bit of research on different games. So I do check in a lot to buy things that I can show off in a video. So in a CEX pickup that I did earlier in the month, uh, some of the games that I got were uh, interesting. Uh, the first one was Tales of Vesperia. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry. A lot of people have been making fun of my accent recently in the comments and how I say Xbox 360 and 2K16. Yes, it sounds naughty. It's my accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> There's probably tons of comments now that people slagging my accent. But yeah, a lot of people were telling me to pick up Tales of Vesperia and the price kind of spiked for a wee while, so I sort of laid back. But uh, as far as I know, the price has dropped back down again and I was finally able to get a copy. Now all I need to do is get around to playing it, but I tend to like these type of games because there's just not that many of them on the 360 in the West. So uh, yeah, I'll definitely be getting on this as soon as possible. The next game that I got was one that you guys have already seen in the video, which was the promotional copy of Sean White Snowboarding. I did a video earlier earlier on promotional copies of games and like what exactly this like wee yellow banner means and so I had to actually go out and buy some of these games and luckily they weren't too hard to find. Um, yeah so I'd probably not play this. I already have Sean White Snowboarding, but it's nice to have a promo copy, I suppose. Uh, the next game that I picked up in CEX was Far Cry Expedition Wild Expedition Collection Fall Collection. Uh, now, I picked up this game basically because, again, I'm starting to put together a, a video on multi-pack games, and so I want to try and get as many different multi-packs as I can, and once I saw Far Cry, I grabbed it. Now, I got really, really lucky with this. CEX, whenever people trade on games, CEX don't buy the game based on any digital 
codes that comes with the game. So if you buy a game and there's a code inside it for like a special gun or something, you're buying the game not based on the fact that that code will work because you can't guarantee that that code hasn't already been used and the person just left the slip in the box. So Far Cry Expedition comes with four Far Cry games, which is Far Cry Classic, Far Cry 2, Far Cry 3 and Far Cry Blood Dragon. Far Cry 2 and 3 are discs that are inside here, more specifically they're the classics discs, but Far Cry Classic and Far Cry Blood Dragon are download codes. Now I bought this based solely on using it in the video so I didn't really mind about the codes, however I really do want to play Far Cry Blood Dragon, I've never played it and a lot of people say I'll enjoy it. And when I tried the codes they worked and they worked on the Xbox One, they're like backwards compatible so I've got like all four games in this, I'm super happy. Anyways, uh, continuing on with the multi-pack games, uh, I picked up uh, Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda because I have them individually but I don't have them as a bundle copy and now I have them as a bundle copy so I can show those off in the video as well. Also, just a side note, I picked up Spore Creatures on the DS as a joke for a friend. Uh, a friend mentioned in one of his YouTube videos about Spore Creatures being the best game ever and so I found a copy and thought I would tweet it because, you know, of course you would spend £2 on a joke on a really bad DS game. So, the next set of pickups that I have are games that were given to me by my mum. My mum helps out so much with game collecting. My mum is like the sweetest person on the planet. She goes around and she keeps an eye on like charity shops and things like that for any games that have gone down in price. And I swear she's better than most of the game collectors that are doing the rounds on YouTube at the moment. So my mum managed to pick me up three things that I'm super happy with. One is a pro copy of PGR3. I don't have PGR3. I think I mentioned it in the conversation once and she saw it for like next to nothing. So she picked it up for me. Thanks mum. The next next thing that my mum got me was a copy of Book of Spells. I think I mentioned this before as being like a Harry Potter type thing, like JK Rowling thing. And uh, she managed to find a copy for three pounds that is complete. It has everything in it. It has the move controller. It has the PlayStation Eye camera. It has the game. It has the book. It has the entire box. The whole thing for three quid's pretty good. I'd say a lot of people on like YouTube would be hard pressed to find a deal as good as this every now and then. And so yeah, she managed to find the sticker stone. She managed to find it for like three pounds in a charity shop. Like wow, that's pretty good going. And the last thing that my mum got me was the Atari flashback console. Now this was bought brand new, but my mum knew that I was looking for an Atari and so she went out and picked up one for me. She got me the old Atari flashback. Whenever it comes to collecting consoles, what I like to do is try and get the original console. So I got myself an old Atari. You may see it every now and then. It's like down here. But these old consoles are hard to hook up or maybe they look rubbish on new TV. So what I always try and do is try to find some aftermarket solution as well so I can hook it up to my big TV downstairs. So while I had the old Atari covered, my mum had the new like up to date, like nice hookups version covered. So again, thanks mum. Good job, keep it up, you're putting YouTube to shame. So anyways, that's all for Mommy Atomics pickups this month. Let's move on to another set of games that I got this month. So another thing that I did this month was I rounded up all of the doubles and stuff that I had got and I had traded them all in. Now, I had a serious amount of doubles, I didn't realize. I had like nine consoles and like 40 controllers and a whole stack of games. It took about two hours to trade it all in, but it was great because what I was looking to do was I was looking to completely redo my streaming setup. Now, streaming has kind of fallen into the wayside lately it's mainly because I have Alucard now to look after and so he's taking up a lot of time and I want to make sure that I'm giving him the time that he needs but now that things are settling down I'm looking to get back on it so what I picked up was I picked up an Xbox One S for like dedicated for streaming as well as a few better capture cards to like use the nice camera on stream and also to get like proper like nice 1080p 60 frames per second quality so aside from hardware I managed to pick up a few games as well because when you're trading stuff on you may as well get some games as well and what I picked up in that CEX run was Tetris Evolution. Now I haven't played Tetris Evolution but Tetris could come out on a toaster and I will buy it. I love Tetris. I am I can melt away hours in Tetris. Nothing gets me more stressed than when you get to the high levels of Tetris and you're getting to like you know the, the peak of like your performance. It's so good. That Battle Royale Tetris is great as well. I really need to get the DLC for that. But yeah I still haven't played this. I hope it's good. I hope that there's some interesting game modes. It's strange that just like square blocks, tiles, shapes 
Apocalypse can be made interesting nearly like 40 years after its release. So now I'll not dwell on these too much, but I picked up a whole pile of variant copies of Gears of War, Halo 3 and Assassin's Creed 1 and 2, all just to use in a video. If you watched my video on uh, promotional copies, you'll have seen me use these at the end. Again, if there's games that I need to use in a video, I want to try and pick them up so that I can actually show them to you guys rather than just use photos. But if you guys have photos of games that you want me to show off, send them in as well because that's another great way of, you know, getting involved in the videos that are actually showing up on the channel. So anyways, on to the second last pickup this month. And the second last is for Xbox One. I picked up a copy of Dead Rising 3 Day 1 Edition. Now, because we're doing a lot of work on variant copies and like different cases and things like that on the site at the moment, I wanted to try and get some of these Day 1 2013 Edition cases just to kind of make a video on them and show you guys like what they are and what the story behind them was. So yeah, I just came across this for cheap enough and I picked it up. I haven't got a lot of them. I don't even know what the full list is yet. So if you guys know any more about them or like have a list, you know, that you would like to share, then please let me know down in the comments. It makes making videos so much easier when you know exactly how many of things there are. And also brand new this month, I picked up Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. This is a kickstarted game that I've been following for a while. Now, I didn't back the Kickstarter because, you know, I just didn't really have the money to back it at the time. But this essentially is the spiritual successor to Symphony of the Night. Now, anyone that watched like my Rare Games video or just heard me talk in the last like two months will know that I love Symphony of the Night. And so the fact that there is a spiritual successor made by the same guy that made Symphony of the Night is just fantastic. I haven't had a chance to play through it yet. I'm gonna use this as my inaugural like stream game once I get my streaming up and running again. So I'm trying to go on fresh, but I'm so happy that it's out. I'm so happy that it's getting good reviews, although I'm so happy I haven't been spoiled yet. And the prequel was really good as well. There was like a wee NES DMAC prequel based on, like loosely based on Castlevania 3, I think. I'm not sure, but it was good as well. Blood stained curse of the moon but yeah anyone who likes vania games pick this up the reviews are great and i can't wait to like join the masses of people that have played this game and so the final pickups for this month are some game boy games uh i managed on facebook marketplace i think this is my only facebook marketplace buy this month which is strange because i usually buy a lot on facebook i managed for like 20 quid to get a copy of pokemon red and pokemon leaf green now i've tested both of these and the pokemon red doesn't work however i can fix it i think that there's just a wee trace broken inside and it's something that I fixed before so I'm not that worried but Leaf Green works fine I verified that they're both like original games because sometimes it's really easy to get fake Pokemon games but yeah I just have a soft spot for Pokemon I have them tattooed on me so I kind of have to make sure I keep liking them uh I'm not that worried about the whole National Dex thing that people are worried about lately with Sword and Shield. But hey, this isn't a Nintendo channel, this is an Xbox channel. But yeah, uh, I'm so happy with these. Uh, I just love playing these old Pokemon games from time to time. And it's really cool to have some that I didn't have before. So those are my pickups for the months. Uh, I would say in the upcoming months that I'd probably have a lot more to show off. So these videos at the end of the month will probably be really beefy. But uh, hey, I enjoy watching long pickups videos with a cup of tea from time to time. So... Hopefully you'll do the same. So if you guys have any pickups that you're proud of this month, let me know down below. Uh, I love making videos based on pickups, but I also love like hearing what pickups people get as well. So make sure to let me know if you got anything like you're super happy with. Also, if you want to see some other ridiculous collections of games and hear some cool pickups, get on the Xbox 360 Hub Discord. There's a lot of people on there buying some really crazy stuff all the time, and it's awesome to follow people's journeys to getting the things that they've been hunting for so long. And also, consider getting subscribed. I put out three videos a week, and the way that they usually work is that Mondays is just an Xbox-based video, and the end of the month will be pickups, but that will always be on a Monday, probably. Wednesdays is Community Day, where I take ideas that you guys put forward and make videos videos on them so if you have any video ideas leave them in the comments below and they'll become a future community day video and saturdays is a recap of the week's xbox news so anyways thanks for watching this video guys and i'll see you next time oh so anyways thanks for watching this video and i'll see you guys next time <laughs>